let's go do this. Boy. Some changes here for the Celtics. Robert Williams checked in for Griffin. And it's Gallinari in for Horford. A minute and a half gone in the second quarter. Jackson, the pass to Brogdon. Oh, they get a hand on it. Here's Curry. He's got 12. Taking a look at Philadelphia. Joel Embiid is out there with Jason Tatum. And it's Curry in at point guard. The shot's good. And breaking down some numbers here. The hustle stats for the... Hold up, guys. Okay, six is, I mean, I need to change my, I need to change my outfit, bro. Are we visiting the Toronto Raptors? No, bro. Are we visiting Milwaukee? Okay. Awesome. It's me, bro. <coughs> Yes, sir. Next one, Milwaukee. The Bucks. The Bucks. It's the bugs, man. Work out, shoot, shoot basketball <coughs> in real life. I come home, watch a couple streams, see what the competition is doing, and then 
I say about eight hours of just labbing and grinding the game, like getting myself better every single day. I'm going back to compete for both gens. I'm ready to defend my current gen Xbox title. I'm already in on next gen, so it's time to flip the switch and go to current. Going into the Starters for Milwaukee. We've got Big Smooth. Porter is out there with Antetokounmpo. Then it's Harden, and it's Halliburton in at the point for the 76ers. But Cobra out there with Curry. Then it's Turner. Then there's Baller, and it's NB in at the center, filling out the middle. A quad no shortage of experience on the floor tonight. Two veteran teams going at it. And what that screams at me, Kevin, is leadership. When you've got that kind of experience, you've got leadership. You've got players on both sides who can be coaches on the floor for their respective clubs. And that's something a lot of teams don't have. Harden outside. Pass to Big Smooth. Harden surveying the D. The pass to Halliburton. Six on the shot clock, and he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Now Curry. Boy, he was something else against Boston. Here's Turner. Curry trying to break free. And Turner, the bucket on the assist by Curry. That's weight room action right there. Excellent strength from Turner. You try to get physical with him, and he can overpower you. And that was the mobile one drive. Well worth a second look. It's all about the ability to get two feet in the paint, whether it's creating for a teammate or for yourself. Porter passes to Halliburton. Here's Big Smooth from T. Parton. They grab their own miss. Having a hand up in your face makes such a difference to a shooter. And, you know, he's a guy who knows how to defend the three-point shot. He's not going to just give it to you. He's going to make you earn it. Oh, that's good. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. And, Greg, the Philadelphia 76 have made it very clear that they are all in on a title. And their front office has been very focused on trying to get top two talent on this roster. And after the trust the process here, they're now aggressively pursuing titles here in Philly. Curry against Halliburton. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley oop. Right side out of the Kumbo. Porter and finished okay, off by okay, Porter. Miles, okay. Improving as a playmaker, Giannis knows this is the next step in him becoming an even greater player. Curry against Halliburton. 
passes it to Ball. From downtown, good, and Curry gets the assist. Curry's got three assists now in this one. And this is how you want to start the ball game. Four for four from the field. Seems like they're right on point and can't miss. Out to the right wing. Halliburton outside. Misses the three. Looking at Philadelphia, they took the win in their last game against the Boston Celtics. Here's the Cobra. It's not going to go for him. So Milwaukee will take it the other way. Harden outside. Doesn't go that time. And Embiid has got the ball here for Philadelphia. Their last game, a win against Boston. Looking to carry it into this one. And, and you've got to love a team that can maintain its composure on the road. Take good shots and knock them down with confidence. Well, efficiency is critical, man. I love how they ran their offense and got quality shots out of their sets. And he's such an efficient three-point shooter. Halliburton has an outstanding feel for when to fire from deep. A nice shot by the Cobra. Let's go. Their last five baskets, three, have been tripled. And Milwaukee calls their first time out of the game. We know, Greg, the league trending towards small ball, but some teams are having success playing two bigs up front. And I think the key is having versatile big men. If they can space the floor <coughs> and play in space, also be able to cover smaller players, why not get the added rebounding and rim protection? And the Bucks making a change here. Zinkis is checked in for Porter. Porter comes in for Antetokounmpo. R.J. Barrett's checked in for James Harden. And it's Jalen Brunson in for Halliburton. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. <laughs> and that was lining up to be a huge alley-oop, but they just couldn't quite connect. And you know, guys, always a tough catch on the lob. Placement and timing have to be close to perfect. To the left wing, here's Brunson. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. And you see the passing instincts Barrett has. Great at recognition out on the floor. Curry passes to Embiid. Curry trying to break free. And there's Embiid. That's good on the assist by Curry. Curry's got six assists in the game. Well, Greg, what can you say about Joel Embiid's growth from a leadership perspective? Pretty impressive, isn't it? Tremendous, Kevin. Carrying the Sixers with everything they went through, even though he came in second in MVP voting two years in a row, no player more important to his team than Joel Embiid. Here's Curry with the three. Sinks the three-pointer. Curry's got a couple of threes now in the first with a 76 -er. And the defense is in disbelief here. Triple after triple. When that happens, simply just hope they start cooling off. Brunson, no good. Fantastic positioning there to contest that one. Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, he challenged the shot, and you can see the effects on the release of that shot. I mean, it turned a simple jump into a tough one. And they are shooting the lights out from distance here early. How do you stop this? I mean, it seems like they can't miss. Big smooth, the pass to Barrett. A three. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. And Beach got four rebounds in this game. To the inside. Pass to Ball. Now Kirk. Here's the Cobra. What a play! He simply drains it in at the buzzer. Ringing the bell. That's the way to close the quarter. Talk about lifting up a team and energizing them at the end of a quarter. A three at the buzzer. That'll do it. And so it's the Philadelphia 76ers with a 14-point lead as we bring the quarter to a close. Their defense has been active and effective. Right back after this break. Big threes, boy. Big threes. Big threes. Fans, your Sixers, you. Yeah. And welcome back to the second quarter of action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. Scoring breakdown for Philadelphia. 
you know, so far in this one, these guys have been knocking it down from distance. You've got to like their confidence as this game continues. They're on a nice roll. And it seems they've also put an emphasis on moving the ball, working to rotate around the defense and find those quality looks. We've got Joel Embiid, Miles Turner out there with Baller, then it's Curry, and it's the Cobra in at the shooting guard. That's the group on the floor for Philadelphia. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly oh, takes it back. Boy, the defense looks shell-shocked. I mean, they're on the ropes right now, on their heels. Back to Harden. Pass to Big Smooth. Six to shoot. Fires at the elbow. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. They host the Spurs after this. They'll find themselves in the middle of this string of three straight at home. to Kumbo against Curry. Over nice. And the rejection oh, by Giannis. And now let's take a look again at that oh incredible God, rejection. That block, 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 and that Giannis. block might serve as a spark hey. for this team. We'll see if it can ignite them. Quarter number two with just over a minute gone. Just five on the clock. Here's Curry. And B trying to break right loose. Here. And Curry the bucket on the assist, assist by Turner. And that's 13 points for Bucks. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. And Greg, even with teams daring Giannis to shoot from outside, his career three-point percentage stuck below 30%. And still an elite score because of his proficiency at the rim. But it's been said before, if he adds the triple, he'll be truly unguarded. The pass to Big Smooth. Van Vliet way outside. An absolute bomb from three-point range. And he's got a smooth stroke from long range. Van Vliet doesn't just hoist them up. His three-pointers are always going to be high-quality shots. Here's Curry. Whistle oh, blows. The basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. And when they've gone to him, he has come through big time. You got to keep getting him touches. The 76ers shooting their first free throw of the year. And one of the highlights last year for this group was the fact that they were so efficient from the charity strike. That's a huge factor. You know, something you can point to when you're talking about their areas of success last season, free throw shooting. Halliburton's checked in for Fred Van Vliet. In decades past, teams that led the league in threes, if they shot that same right now, would rank Greg dead last in the NBA. So with that thought, which teams of yesteryear probably should have shot more threes? And that's a good one. Kevin, I think you got to look back to the run TMC Warriors, right? How about the Larry Bird Celtics? And they could knock down the triple. Curry finds MB. Back to Curry. Passes to the Cobra. Jacks up a three. Rebound, Milwaukee. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thanks very much, Kevin. Well, of course, Giannis is the Bucks' leader, but it's still Coach Bud who calls the shots. Giannis says, as players, we have to accept Coach's plan. we got to trust. That's the only way it's going to work. And sometimes it won't. Sometimes we're going to execute the game plan, and sometimes I'm not. Not because I don't want to, but it's just not my day. Kevin, that is very, very oh, good perspective. <laughs> Agreed. Thanks, David. Big smooth. Just couldn't take the lid off. They had their chances, but came up empty. Order number two, around three minutes gone by. Curry passes to Turner. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Curry's got nine assists now tonight. Tossing around that 250 LBs Turner going right through the contact. And the Bucks are on a tremendous run here. They're the most consecutive playoff appearances since that streak 
They head back to 1980 to 91. That one is good from Joel Embiid. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. And don't leave out the coaching staff here now. I mean, their game plan has been perfect. And the cheap by Andrew the You know, gifted with what seems to be a limitless reach, the Greek freak can get to offensive rebounds that most others only think about getting to. And that's a block right there. He swats that ball away with some energy. They're determined to add to the lead, not with more offense, but with big-time defense. Oh. And the shot goes in. Assisting. You gotta love his hustle when he in the defense. No time to react. And you know you're gonna get those buckets, guys, when you're quick to get out on the break. Get that ball up the court as fast as you can. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. He'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. It goes on Giannis Antetokounmpo. Breaking back to the Bucks. The question is, how much longer do you think is their window? That's just it, Kevin. They've got the players to win now, and that has to be the attitude moving forward they're built to do it again just need to push all the right buttons and the bucks making a change here Porzingis has checked in for porter porter comes in for antetokounmpo rj barrett's checked in for big smooth and it's jalen brunson in for halliburton timeout called the bucks well certainly clark the 76ers the past few seasons have given their fans plenty to feel good about yeah and you know those philly fans are really hard to please they have great expectations and knowledge to go along with it. Uh, but you're right. I mean, it's been much easier to look on the bright side in Philly recently. The talent and results have been trending up in recent years. Curry on the wing. One thirty-five left now here in the second. And no good that time. Quarter double team. Outside, Brzingis. Pass to Barrett. Good work defensively by Turner. That is some tough defense there. Gets one of the better finishers in our game. Curry against Barrett. Here's Baller. Good, and Curry gets the assist. 11 points for Baller. The defense is far too slow to close out on those three-point attempts. And those triples, they sure do add up quickly, don't they? I mean, they've got to make some kind of adjustment here. Harden the pass to Porter. It's Barrett on the wing. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Oh, Porter in position. How can I help today? Hey, Google. An emphatic LU jam. You know, as a distributor and dime dropper, Harden has really got a nice eye for how to get teammates shots. Does a really good job setting up a shooter. Here's Curry. In it goes for the eighth time in 10 tries. Wow, unconscious. Has he been this quarter? They're riding that hot hand. Milwaukee's gone one or two on three pointers here in the second quarter. So far. shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Harden outside, and that one drops for him. Harden. Harden's got his second bucket. Yet another hard shot that Harden makes look easy. Amazing at measuring the floating jump to the paint. Here's Embiid. Terrific assist. A nice finish. Solid play all around. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. And so it's the Philadelphia 76ers riding high with a 23-point lead heading into the break. From the field, they have been outstanding. Amazing shooting. That's what has them headed to a blowout. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much. Here with Mike Budenholzer. Bud, what are you looking to clean up in the second half? Um, you know, I don't think our offense is really moving the way we wanted to, um, getting up and down the court in pace. And, you know, we got to make a few more open shots, but I think we can be a lot better offensively. We've seen that from your team, Coach. I'm sure it'll show up. Thanks. Back to you. Thanks so much, Dave, for the great interview. Don't go away, folks. We'll be back for the second half of basketball right after this. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Good to see you back here on our halftime show. Well, actually, we can't see you, but you can see us, but you get it. Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet Smith, 
Shaquille O'Neal. You're watching the NBA on 2K Sports. Right out of the gate, it was Philly setting the tone. Tenacious on both ends of the floor, they took command early with a 13-2 run. They could do nothing wrong in the first quarter, ending with a 14-point lead. Then in quarter number two, it was all hands on deck, and what a show it was. Quality execution. And from what we saw so far from the 76ers, Kenny, what's your takeaway? The work they put in on the glass has been the difference maker. Truly an all hands on deck attack. Give them credit for being the more aggressive. Rebounding is one of the speed. And that does it for our halftime show. We now take you back. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. Curry has been sensational. Oh, I did. Hey guys, I go ahead and right now I go be back on part two. 